Imagine this. You wake up one day to find an article detailing your entire life but it's not the life you're living now. It's a life full of the things you never did, the risks you never took, the words you left unspoken. Suddenly, it dawns on you this is a foretaste of the future you're heading toward if you continue on your current path. A path filled with potential, but marred by regret. What would you change? Today, we're diving into the incredible power of regret to reshape our lives for the better. Let's talk about regret a familiar guest in the halls of our minds. Some might claim they're above such feelings, but let's face it, if you're over six years old and of sound mind, regret has likely visited you. Instead of allowing regret to haunt us, we should embrace it as a natural component of the human experience. Once we accept its universality, we can drain it of its power to paralyze us and instead use it to forge narratives of our lives that propel us forward. Psychologists suggest that the stories we tell ourselves about our life events play a critical role in shaping our identity. Think of these stories like roads some leading to contamination, where a good life suddenly goes downhill, and others leading to redemption, where the valleys of failure lead to peaks of triumph. Those who harbor tales of contamination often find themselves stuck in a loop of dissatisfaction, but those who choose the path of redemption discover greater happiness, achievement, and meaning. Regret is the perfect catalyst for setting out on the path of redemption. It's the starting line for a comeback story. The young adult who squandered their health smoking can become the beacon of transformation, running marathons. The one who slept through college can become an industry expert, inspiring students with guest lectures. Redemptive actions speak volumes they say who you are and who you've decided to become. Yet, not all regrets can be fully erased, some leave permanent marks. These lingering traces of regret aren't setbacks, they're motivators. They push us to preempt future regrets and craft lives that we can be proud of when we look back. Take the case of Alfred Nobel, a man whose obituary prematurely depicted him as the merchant of death due to his invention of dynamite. Appalled at this legacy, Nobel rewrote his story to become one of history's most esteemed philanthropists, remembered for the Nobel Prizes. Just like Nobel, we have the incredible advantage of premeditation. We can ponder what we might later rue and take corrective action now. Let's embark on a mental time travel experiment. Visualize getting an email from seven days ahead pinpointing actions or regret not taking. The email details four categories of regrets that, according to a global survey of regrets spanning 16,000 individuals from 105 countries, encompass all our human regrets. Foundation, boldness, moral, and connection. Foundation regrets speak of the discipline we didn't enact, the hard work we sidestepped, leading to health problems, financial strain, or stagnant careers. Boldness regrets reveal the chances we shied away from, leaving us haunted by what ifs. Moral regrets capture the values we betrayed, instances of dishonesty, disloyalty or injustice that gnaw at us. Lastly, connection regrets highlight our relational failures moments we didn't reach out, didn't reconcile, didn't express love or forgiveness. With this framework, anticipate regrets by filling out statements like, this week, I wish I had taken care of my health by, or, I wish I had reached out to, and refer back to them. Set up a weekly reflection this proactive step can reroute us away from future grief and towards a more fulfilling life. Remember, regrets of inaction tend to sting with greater intensity than those of action. After all, we can mend and learn from mistakes made, but inaction leaves us wrestling with endless possibilities. Preventing regrets isn't about living a flawless life. It's about living a full one, where we allow ourselves to take chances, to love deeply, to live according to our values, and to build the bedrock of a purposeful existence. The essence of The Power of Regret by Daniel Pink lies here. It is about transforming regret, a stigmatized emotion, into a driving force of profound personal growth. For a distilled essence of Pink's game-changing insights, I offer a special one-page PDF summary for those who wish to delve deeper. If these ideas resonate with you, and you believe in evolving through introspection and taking meaningful action, then I urge you to join this journey towards a life of intention and fulfillment. Remember to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell together. Let's start crafting redemption stories of our own. And always keep in mind, sharing wisdom can elevate not just you but someone else's path in life. I invite you to pass along this message to those who might equally benefit from it. As we conclude this exploration of regrets and the pathways they lay out for us, I leave you with a question that's sure to ignite introspection and action. After watching this video, which insights will you apply in your life to rewrite your story starting today? For those who have found value in our time together and wish to support this channel's endeavor to stimulate minds and instigate transformation, 
Your appreciation can be voiced through the link found in the description. It's your meaningful way of tipping the scales of knowledge ever in our collective favor. Until the next time we meet in this space of learning and self-upliftment, consider the roads ahead and choose with wisdom. Let's not leave room for regret, but fill our days with actions that echo our deepest convictions and brightest aspirations. Stay strong, live purposefully, and thrive. Gentlemen, imagine unraveling the code behind genuine ingenuity and the creative process that could redefine your world. This journey isn't just for the eccentric artist or the Silicon Valley visionaries. It's for any man who dares to rise above the ordinary, for those who choose to embark on the path less traveled, the creative path. Come, dive into the heart of originality with me, and let's explore how you too can leave a unique imprint in your endeavors. Our daily lives present a choice, a crossroad of sorts. We can be creative or fall into the trap of fear, morphing into mere imitators, self-centered opportunists, or passive rule followers. The road to creativity is trodden by the brave, those who choose generosity over comfort and courage over compliance. Adopting this mindset is how you increase your chances of developing a distinct voice, executing original work, and effectuating meaningful change. But brace for the storm of self-doubt. The harrowing whispers of being an imposter will echo through the chambers of your mind when you brave uncharted waters, daring to transform things for the better. It's a grim but common companion to all trailblazers, a sign that you're on the verge of breaking through the mold. Remember, every great person in their field, the leaders, artists, and entrepreneurs, has grappled with this feeling. They've persevered knowing that risk is the core of remarkable change. A potent antidote to this crippling imposter syndrome is to foster a creative practice. Carve out an hour each day to explore your chosen craft, be it writing, coding, drawing, podcasting, coaching, or any other pursuit. The objective is to passionately immerse yourself in the process and detach from the outcome. Visualize fly fishing without the intent to catch fish. Focus on the rhythm, the technique, the sheer beauty of the act. When you're not preoccupied with results, your true potential emerges. Surprisingly, a testament to your growth is marked not by accolades but by the size of your discard pile. Every misconception, botched code, or misguided attempt is a stepping stone towards excellence. The more you are willing to fail, the closer you get to success. Your discard pile bears witness to your fearless experimentation and relentless pursuit. Moreover, how often you ship, present your work to the world, stands as another metric of progress. The practice of regular delivery breeds creativity. Make a rule to deliver consistently without a shadow of a doubt, and the rule itself becomes the catalyst for ingenuity. It's not about if you will ship, but when you will ship. Make that commitment, and your creativity will kindle even in the 11th hour. Now, let me emphasize, creative work isn't about a single brilliant flash of insight. It's a marathon, a nightly drive where you can only see as far as your headlights, but you can make the entire journey that way. Trust the road, love the engaging process, embrace the piles of discarded ideas, and commit to regular shipment of your craft. This road is your road to molding a better world. Imagine if each one of us refused to settle, to blend in, to walk the beaten path. Imagine if we harnessed the courage to cultivate our craft and make a dent in the universe. This could be your reality, a reality where your contributions create ripples of change. This discourse stems from the resonating wisdom in the book, The Practice, Shipping Creative Work, by Seth Godin, an imperative read for those who aspire to stretch the boundaries of creativity and influence the status quo. The insights gathered from this book are monumental, and I urge you, my discerning friends, to delve into its depth. For a one-page summary of the invigorating insights from this read, I've arranged a special link. Just hit that subscribe button, give a thumbs up, and ring that notification bell by doing so. You'll not only empower yourself with transformative knowledge but be part of a community dedicated to making a difference. Appreciate you tuning in, and take some time to reflect. What are the actions from this talk you'll implement in your life to enhance your creative journey? And remember, if this exploration has enriched your thoughts, feel free to express your gratitude with a tip corresponding to the value you've received. The link is in the description below. Join us next time for more profound discussions aiming to elevate your trajectory in the modern age. Stay driven, stay curious, and let's redefine what's possible together.